Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're gonna to be going over some tips and tricks that you can use with your Apple Watch Series 8. Let's get started. All right, so the first tip we're gonna take a look at involves how we control and see the apps on our Apple Watch Series 8. So what we're looking at here is the sort of scattered look. This is the grid view of our applications. There's actually a second view if you open the settings app scroll down to where you see app view, give that a quick tap. And if you select list view, what it's going to do is put all of your apps in a list that you can scroll up and down to navigate through. You can use the digital crown as well to navigate your apps here. And this just gives you a different look with your Apple Watch. Changing it back is as simple as going back into the app view settings and changing back to grid view. In this next tip, we're gonna talk about battery life. As you use your Apple Watch, you may notice that the battery dies a little bit quicker than you would expect. So if you do wanna preserve and save some battery life, there are some settings you can set up. So we'll open the settings app, scroll down to where you see privacy, tap on that, tap on the location services. Now location services use your GPS and Bluetooth to try to give a location to various applications. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the apps that have access to your location services. So for example, this tile app, which helps me find things, is using my location all the time. And that means that it's constantly going to be using that GPS and Bluetooth and in turn, burning some batteries. So you can turn off location services right here. I'm not gonna do that. Or you can scroll down to the different applications and tap on them and just disable location services on the apps that you don't feel need it. Back to the main settings page, we're gonna tap on general and then we're going to scroll down and tap background app refresh. Now this also is going to use a little bit more of your battery and you can see right here that turning off background app refresh may preserve the battery life. So it's telling you right there. Now what this does is the apps that are open and have this background app refreshed and enabled means that those apps are going to be refreshing in the background while you're doing other things. So you can turn this off completely or just scroll down and turn it off for various apps that you don't need it on for and that'll help save you some battery at the same time. Lastly, again, from the main settings page, if you scroll down, there's an actual battery option. If you tap on that, it'll show you what you're doing with your battery and the Apple Watch. You can scroll down to see the battery health and you can turn your Apple Watch to low power mode, which will help conserve the battery as well. Keep in mind, when you turn low power mode on, it's gonna turn off the always on display and limit the sensors as well as the Wi-Fi connections of your Apple Watch. So just scroll down, read about all that. If you want to turn it on to save some battery, this is definitely good in a pinch. Now, if the situation ever comes up where you need to troubleshoot the Apple Watch, maybe your networks aren't working correctly, it's running slow or it's frozen altogether, there's a way that you can hard reset the Apple Watch and to do that, you're going to press and hold on the side button and the digital crown at the same time and it's going to hard reset the Apple Watch. So, for example, here we'll press both at the same time and just keep holding. You'll probably have to hold that down for about five to 10 seconds, both of those and keep holding until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. Once the Apple logo appears, the Apple Watch is going to restart itself and it should refresh everything, your networks, your connections, and hopefully the Apple Watch will start running. For this next tip, we're gonna talk about the emergency fall detection and crash detection built into this new Apple Watch Series 8. So open the watch app on your iPhone and just scroll down to where you see emergency SOS and open that up. Now, first off, this has emergency SOS built right in. So that means if you hold the side button on the Apple Watch here, it's going to call the emergency services. If you want that off, turn it off. Call after a severe crash is also here, and this is a new feature. So if you're ever in a car crash, the Apple Watch can automatically call emergency services. So basically what it's going to do if it detects a crash, it's going to start a countdown. You can tap your wrist to stop that. It's also going to sound an alarm before it makes the call. If you don't stop that alarm or stop the countdown by tapping your wrist, it's going to automatically call emergency services, which could potentially save your life. That's there as well. 
and then we have the fall detection which has been there for a while but you can choose now some other options here that you have it always on or only during workouts so now you can customize the fall detection as well now you can read right here again more details about this but similarly before it calls the emergency services you'll get an alert it's going to ring an alarm all that stuff unless you stop that then if nothing happens, it will call emergency services at the same time. But read through all of this. It could save your life or get you out of a really bad situation. If you're unable to use your fingers or arms or can't reach your phone, having this on could save your life. The next tip we're going to go over involves zooming in on the text. So if you need your text zoomed a little more on the screen here, you can open the settings, scroll down to where you see display and brightness. And here you'll have a setting called text size. If we tap on that, we can actually use the crown to increase the size of our text or decrease it like so. So you can set this up exactly how you want. I'm just going to leave it right there. And we can also play around with the bold. So if we tap and bold the text, you'll see that now all the text on screen is bolded as well. This next tip is one of my favorites and it involves the control center which you can access just by pulling up from the bottom of your screen. You can see you have a whole bunch of extra quick settings that you can access. But the one we're going to talk about is this right here. If you ever lose your iPhone, you can actually tap this button and it's going to send a ping to that iPhone so you can look around your house and find it. Additionally, if you scroll down, you can see we have a whole bunch of settings that we can play around with. But if you tap edit, you can actually add and remove settings from this list. So you have a school time setting that you can add in or you can remove any of these that you don't want. Additionally, if you find that you use one that's way down here quite a bit, like the water lock, you can tap and hold and drag it somewhere else higher up on the list. And when you're done, just click on that digital crown. And now you have access to all the quick settings the way you set them up. Moving down just a bit here, we have that water flush ability here. And if you ever get your Apple Watch wet, it's good to flush out the water. So if you tap on that, you'll see a little water icon appears up top. All you have to do from here is just press on the digital crown and hold. and it's gonna eject all the water from the Apple Watch. Now, as you use your Apple Watch, obviously you're going to get notifications and you can access those by pulling down from the notification center on the watch face. Now, as your list of notification grows, you can always swipe left, tap the X and delete them. But if you wanna clear them all at once, just pull all the way down, a clear all option will appear, tap on it, it'll clear all the notifications all at once. The next tip here involves taking a screenshot with our Apple Watch and I hardly ever use this, but I get asked the question a lot. So you're gonna to need to open the app, the watch app on your iPhone once again, tap on general, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see the section here that says enable screenshots. You can turn that on and now you'll be able to take a screenshot on your Apple Watch. So for example, if we wanted to take a screenshot of our watch face, we can then just press on the digital crown and the side button at the same time and let, and let go. It takes a screenshot just like it does on the iPhone. And then all we have to do is open the Photos app on our iPhone and the Apple Watch face or whatever the screenshot was is going to be in our Photos library. Next, if you're like me and you're constantly late for things, then setting your Apple Watch to be five minutes fast could be an option for you. So let's open the settings app here and we're gonna scroll down to where we see the clock section. It's quite a bit down the list here. You're gonna open that up and right here you have an option to set your watch face display time ahead. So you just tap on that. You can see we can set the watch face using the digital crown here just by scrolling and you can set it all the way up to an hour ahead. But for the most part, I have it set to like five minutes ahead or sometimes 10 minutes depending on what's going on. And that way your notifications will come through five minutes ahead. Everything that pops up on this phone will let you know five minutes ahead. And it might save you from missing out on things. So you just tap the check mark to set it. Now you see it's 5.04 and the time here is 5.09. So if I just click outside, the time here went to 5.09. So now my watch face is five minutes ahead. 
So those were some Apple Watch Series 8 tips and tricks that you can use with your new Apple Watch. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post more great tutorial videos. We've got tons coming up on this new Apple Watch Series 8 as well as the new iPhone 14s. So check out those links in the description if you're looking to learn more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.